Where all of this leads us to is that when we're creating indexes, we need to carefully consider what columns we are putting in the index, as well as the order of the columns in the index. If our index is not selective enough, or we have columns in the wrong order, as we have seen, our index won't get used or won't be very efficient. So what is some guidance for how we decide what columns should be in our index? First of all, we want the columns that are most frequently used in WHERE clauses and JOIN conditions at the front of the index. This is due to the fact that in most scenarios, if your SQL statement doesn't contain a condition for the first column in your index, then Oracle will not consider using the index. So the most important criteria is to get the columns that are most frequently used to access the data in a table in the leading edges of the index, and then try to have as many of the other frequently used columns in the front part of the index. The other factor you want to keep track of is selectivity. You want to make sure that your indexes are highly selective. And this extends past your indexes, really, to what combination of columns you're specifying in your WHERE clause. A selective criteria returns fewer rows, which not only performs better, but is probably better for your user as well, because no one wants to sort through 10,000 rows that are returned by a query. So when you are building your indexes, pay attention to how selective they are. If you have a couple of columns that individually aren't very selective, look to see if a combination of these columns is selective. If it is, this can be a good candidate for an index. Just make sure that you always include all of the columns in your WHERE clause. If you are able to query your table by highly selective columns like email address or phone number, this is going to be very beneficial for performance. So be on the lookout for whatever these highly selective columns are in your application and see if it makes sense to access your data by using these columns. One last point. Many people have trouble deciding the order to put columns in their indexes because they can't decide if they should put the most selective column in the first position or the most frequently used column in this position. In these cases, the guidance from the database community is to put the most frequently used column first. The reason for this has to do with column order, and that even if a column is very selective, if it is not included as a predicate in the SQL statement, it won't get used, and then this will disqualify Oracle from considering your index. So favor the columns that are most frequently used to query your data and put these at the front of the index. This covers the essentials of indexes in Oracle. You should have a good foundation now in how indexes work and why they work the way they do. From here, in the next two modules, we'll cover some more advanced topics and how to handle some special scenarios so that you can get the most out of indexing when these situations do occur.